Well, that would meet the criteria for what he's outlining, what you've outlined this morning in terms of where he'd like to be. Right. Um, well, Venezuela has a, a democratically elected government, though it has lots of problems in its political system. And I think the real question is, why should an American citizen who joined the U.S. military, work for the CIA, work for the NSA, why does he feel that he has to flee the United States simply because he steps forward in a very careful way, goes to newspapers, reveals wrongdoing and lying on the part of U.S. government officials? Why does he feel that he has to flee? And McClatchy article this morning answers that question. It says the Obama administration has been unprecedentedly aggressive and vindictive in how it punishes and treats whistleblowers as enemies of the state. And I think that's really the question we need to be asking is why are whistleblowers being treated in this fashion. You're, you, you are um, a polemicist here. You have a point of view. You are a columnist. You're also a lawyer. You do not dispute that Edward Snowden has broken the law, do you? No, I think he's very clear about the fact that he did it because his conscience compelled him to do so, just like Daniel Ellsberg did 50 years ago when he released the Pentagon Papers and also admits that he broke the law. Um, I think the question, though, is how can he be charged with espionage? He didn't work for a foreign government. He could have sold this information for millions of dollars and enriched himself. He didn't do any of that either. He stepped forward, and as we want people to do in a democracy, as a government official, learned of wrongdoing and exposed it so we could have a democratic debate about the spying system. Do we really want to put people like that in prison for life um, when all they're doing is telling us as citizens what our political officials are doing in the dark. Um, final question before, for you, but I'd like you to hang around. I just want to get Pete Williams in here as well. Um, to the extent that you have aided and abetted Snowden, even in his current movements, why shouldn't you, Mr. Greenwald, be charged with a crime? I think it's pretty extraordinary that anybody who would call themselves a journalist would publicly muse about whether or not other journalists should be charged with felonies. The assumption in your question, David, is completely without evidence, the idea that I've aided and abetted him in any way. The scandal that arose in Washington before our stories began was about the fact that the Obama administration is trying to criminalize investigative journalism by going through the, the emails and phone records of AP reporters, accusing a Fox News journalist of the theory that you just embraced, being a co-conspirator with felony in felonies for working with sources. If you want to embrace that theory, it means that every investigative journalist in the United States who works with their sources, who receives classified information, is a criminal. And it's precisely those theories and precisely that climate that has become so menacing in the United States. It's why the New Yorker's Jane Mayer said investigative reporting has come to a standstill, her word, as a result of the theories that you just referenced.